take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Make sure your Mac or PC is up to date. If you're using iTunes, make sure that you have the latest version of iTunes. If you own more than one computer, try to make a backup on your other Mac or PC. Or, use iCloud to backup your device and restore from your iCloud backup. Let's help you make your mark. Situation 1. iTunes could not backup the iPhone because the backup was corrupted. If you see the error message, iTunes could not back up the iPhone because the backup was corrupt or not compatible with the iPhone. You should delete the backup for the iPhone and try to back up your iPhone with iTunes again. Take our lead. If you get an error when you try to back up your iPhone that says there's not enough disk space, that means your iPhone won't back up to your computer because there's not enough room on your computer for the backup. You can clear up space by deleting files from your computer. Take our lead. Deleting corrupted backups to free up more space can be a direct way to fix the iPhone backup cannot be saved because of not enough space on computer, error. Launch iTunes. Go to iTunes greater than preferences devices. Select the backup file and click the delete backup button. Take our lead approximately 15 to 20 minutes should take approximately 15 to 20 minutes depending on your wi-fi or internet connection speed depends whether you back up to icloud or to itunes backing up that amount of data to itunes usually takes about a couple of minutes or so depending on the speed of your computer Make your mark, take our lead. Generally speaking, the backup will consume whatever amount of data is taken up on the phone. That is assuming you're backing up the entire phone. If your iPhone storage looked similar to the image below, about 7.16 gigabytes of storage would likely be utilized to back up your device. Let's help you make your mark. Backup and restore your iPhone or iPad on Mac or iCloud. Connect your device to your Mac. You can connect your device using a USB or USB-C cable or using a Wi-Fi connection. In the Finder on your Mac, select the device in the Finder sidebar. Select General in the button bar. To select backup options, do any of the following. Click Backup now. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.